So this is Brushy Lake Campground in Bankhead Forest. This is the road. That's the way in. There's a day use area up there. And there is a one lane bridge over the creek that uh, this lake is formed out of. It turns to, the road turns to gravel on the other side of that bridge. And unlike the hunter campgrounds, this one, uh, it's actually a fee area. It costs five dollars a night to camp here, which is still not bad. But there are no hookups or anything like that. But there are fire pits, and uh, it's a pretty neat area. There are a couple of people camped here. water down there and the lake is in that direction so it's a pretty nice area the road on uh, coming in kind of runs alongside a, a canyon and there's a beat and battered guardrail for the worst of it Sipsy Fork Wild and Scenic River. But we're going to park on the other side. Crazy looking little bridge. It's supposedly rated it up to 29 tons for some 18 wheelers. I don't see any 18 wheelers crossing this bridge. For one thing, it doesn't go anywhere other than to a, that little parking lot we were just in. But that's what it says 29 tons. I guess they've got to rate it, so they figured they'd just rated at something completely insane. I don't know. There's a truck over there with a dog crate in the back. Maybe like a coon hunter. Probably. That's probably what it is, a coon hunter. So this is kind of a continuation of the shorter video that I did in this area starting right about here so we're going to hike a little bit farther up the trail Looks like there's water coming out of that cave and then it goes underground there and comes out over there.
beautiful place, isn't it? not very cold today, but you can tell by the icicles that it has been recent. Trail kind of heads back down here. Back down to the water's edge. This would probably be a great place to fish. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get over here to the waterfall. Hmm, those dog cramps. Or some kind of canine anyway. I think it's canine because uh, you can see the the toenail tracks and if it were a cat you wouldn't be able to see that. We did it probably run from us. Yeah, maybe. I'll watch out for you. <laughs> you might not want to come down here because well, it's. I'm not sure why not. I just have okay. my food. Okay. All right. Well, be careful. Heard 
careful that you want to tie your shoes, I'll, uh, I'll wait right here. You can actually see the top of the little waterfall from here. It's not much of a waterfall, but it's still nice to see. Up there. Like I said, it's not much of a waterfall. It's you know, it's only two or three feet, but it's still interesting. Wow, there are a lot of obstacles up there. On the canyon wall. Oh, I see now. Huh? Is that natural or is that like man-made right there? Really? It's natural. I mean, this is an unimproved river. It's just, I mean, it's in a lot of cases up not really an improvement when they start tinkering with it. But anyway, it's a wild and scenic river, so that means they haven't done anything to it. It's improved by being left alone. Let's continue up the trail. Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. Just out of curiosity, it's probably not going to work from down here. Nope, nothing. I'm not surprised. Now, if I climbed up there, I would be able to reach it, I'm pretty sure. There's something swimming or floating just below the surface over there. I'm not sure if it's a fish or a bit of moss or what it is. It's beginning to look a little bit interesting up here. This really doesn't look like the best way to get up there. I'm going to look for a better way. Because this way, you pretty much have to walk through the mud. Because that's too far to jump. But, yeah. <laughs> but if we go back up, in fact, it looks like there's a little trail going this way. Maybe it goes over. Yeah, it looks like it does. No. Well, it's, yeah, it's still not, yeah, it's still not going to cross it. Gets close enough to get a decent view of the cave, though. Wow. That is pretty cool. Oh. Ah. Yeah, it's slip, slippery right here. Yeah. This is probably about as far as we need to go on this trail because it gets steeper. And it doesn't go anywhere but down into that then. You what? Oh. 
Yeah. Now, if I were a bear or a mountain lion, I would probably live in there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yep. That's why I made it as well. I made it as long as I know. Yep, or as, as Yevgen said about cowboys and Indians. Yeah. If I were an Indian, that's probably where I'd hide out. If it was, you know, if it was like that, I'd be hiding out in that cave. Probably. I don't know. Maybe one that's more difficult to find. It's a really cool area. You can camp back in here, by the way. Backpack in and camp. I noticed the sign up there said, it said campers are required to get at least, I think either 100 feet or 200 feet off the trail. And then required was crossed out and it said recommended. And I mean, it wasn't like somebody came along and did that. It was like official, you know, it's like it no longer is a requirement, but it's still recommended. I'm ready to go. Okay. Here's something I never noticed before. Uh-huh. They might have camped right here. Interesting. Well, I guess it's a reasonably good place to camp. Yeah. Looks like they brought them a pile of pine cones over here to use for starting their fire. Yeah.